Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed. And we bring our hands together at our hearts and we say our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. Now, shall we find out who our story is about today? Yes? Let's look through the cosminoculars. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> Would you look at that? It's so pretty. Goodness me. Can you see the picture? Can you see what it is? It's a silver fox. It's Fernando, the silver fox of the night. Look, he's doing yoga. Fernando's doing aeroplane pose. Oh, Fernando, he's very good at showing us what the dark is all about and so we don't have to be scared of it anymore. Right, let's get ready for a nighttime adventure with Fernando the Silver Fox. We want to be able to see in all directions so we get our necks warmed up. We look all the way down and all the way up. All the way down and all the way up. Coming back to the middle, we look over one shoulder and over the other shoulder. Over one shoulder, over the other shoulder and back to the middle again. We tilt our ear towards our shoulder and we come back to the middle. We tilt our ear to the other shoulder. Yes, there we go, getting a lovely stretch round our necks. Then we go round in a circle, all the way round one way, and round in a circle, all the way round the other way. There, now we've got a nice warm neck. Time to make a sandwich, I think, for a midnight snack later. We put our legs out long and we butter our bread. Ready? Butter, 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 bit more. Butter, 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 tiny bit more. Butter, 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 there, that's probably enough butter. Arms out wide, we're going to twist round and get something really healthy for our sandwich. Let's get some cucumber, crunchy cucumber. We twist around, get the cucumber and we go chop, 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 chop. Mmm, lovely. Now we take our arms out wide again and let's get some squishy tomatoes. Mmm, we twist around and get our squishy tomatoes and we go squish, 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 squish. Done. We lift our arms up nice and tall, bending our knees a little bit so we can put the top slice of bread on our sandwich. There, now we're ready. We cross our legs and we lean over one way to get a torch to put in our backpack. We reach behind us and pop it in, using our other hand to help it go inside. Then we reach over the other way for our cosminoculars and we put our cosminoculars in our backpack as well, using our hand to help them in. There. Now, we're ready to go. We just need to wait until it gets dark enough. So we hide in bed. Coming to your bottom, bend your knees, feet flat. Hands behind your bottom. Lift yourself up into a bed shape. We need to be as quiet as a mouse. Shh. Coming onto your knees, tuck yourself down into a little mouse shape. And breathe slowly until it gets dark. Let's have a look and see if it's dark enough. We wiggle forward onto our tummy. 
put our hands underneath our shoulders and lift ourselves up to have a look out the window and oh, yes, it's really dark now. Time to go. We tiptoe down the stairs very quietly. We get to the bottom and then we put on our boots. Lifting up one foot, trying not to wobble, we put on one boot whoop, and we put on another boot. Let's lift up the other leg, trying not to wobble. Whoop, there, two boots. We lift up one hand, we put on our glove, twiddling our wrist around in a circle. Then we put on our other glove, twiddling our other wrist around in a circle. Finally, we wrap up warm in a big, warm coat. There, now we're ready to go outside. Coming to your knees, we open the gate very quietly. Take your leg out to the side and lift your arm up to the sky. Open the gate. Bring your knees back to the middle again. And take your other leg out to the other side. We close the gate, lifting your arm. Ooh. Right, we're ready to go. We're outside. Yay! Ah, but it starts to rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. All over us, we're getting really wet. And the mud is getting really squadgy. Coming to the side, take a big muddy step. Squidge. And let's take another one. Squadge into the woods. We come to a big hollow tree. <gasps> Standing tall, put one foot on top of the other and your hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up tall and, hmm, I think it's time for the tree test. Are you feeling strong or wibbly wobbly? Let me see. I'll try and blow you down and let's see whether you fall over. Ready? <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. I can never blow you down. You're very, very strong indeed. Let's try the other foot. Coming back, put the other foot on top this time. Hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up tall and let me see. Can I do it this time round, I wonder? I'll try and blow you down again. Ready? <gasps> couldn't blow you down again. Goodness me. Oh, you are a very strong tree. Now this tree is where Fernando the silver fox lives. It's his house. Jump your feet wide, hands above your head, making a house shape. And here he is, darting out of his house like a very sleek silver fox. Come to your knees. He takes out one arm and one leg and that's. Then he takes out another arm Another leg and darts. He says, Buenas noches, amigos. Come with me. I will show you how amazing the duck can be. Oh, this sounds exciting. And off we go, trotting with Fernando. Trot, 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 trot. It's fun being out in the dark with Fernando the silver fox. And the moon is huge in the sky. A big full moon beaming down on us. So it's not that dark at all, actually. He leads us to a very dark looking cave. Hmm. Hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottom and make a cave shape. There look to be some rather big scary shadows in this cave and we're not sure about them. We sit ourselves down and tuck ourselves up into a little ball, oh, rubbing our ears because we're a little bit scared of the dark, especially big scary shadows that we think are monsters. <laughs> Fernando says, amigo, do not be afraid. Open your eyes and have a look. It is nothing to be scared of. So we open our eyes and sure enough, it's not a big scary monster. It's a little bat hanging upside down from the top of the cave. Oh, standing up, turning around. Take your legs wide and bend all the way forwards, putting your hands down on the floor so you can look through your legs. Yay! Hello, I'm Bot the Bat. I'm just practising hanging him upside down from the ceiling of the cave. We give him a little wave and a smile. Gee!
eyes. Ah, uh, he wasn't a scary thing at all, just a little bat. Fernando says, come, we must go to have more fun in the dark. And off we go to the lake. Sitting on our bottoms, we bring our feet together, making a big white diamond shape with our feet and our legs. We look down into the lake and <gasps> what's that? We can hear clumpy, clumpy footsteps <gasps> and they're coming this way. Ah! <laughs> Taking your legs out wide, holding your ankles. What could it be, we wonder? A big scary monster? Clump, 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 clump. Maybe a dinosaur. Clump, 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 clump. Oh no, it's going to eat us. We hug ourselves up into a little ball again and give our ears a rub. Ooh. Fernando says, amigo, do not be afraid. Open up your eyes and take a look. Nothing to be afraid of. So we do. And sure enough, he's right. It's not a big scary monster, it's Twilight, the unicorn of dreams. Oh, coming up onto one knee, everybody. Bring your arms up tall and... Like Twilight, the unicorn of dreams. She wouldn't be able to spread her starshine for good dreams unless it was dark, so she needs the dark. She bows her horn. Ooh. And off she goes. You, again, something we didn't need to be afraid of in the dark. Just twilight, the unicorn of dreams. Fernando leads us to a crooked branch for a little rest. We lie down on the ground and put our arms out wide. We bend our knees and take them over to one side, like a crooked branch, and then over to the other side, like a crooked branch. We decide to share our midnight snack. Remember, our sandwich with Fernando the Silver Fox while we rest here. Sitting up, crossing your legs. Mmm, we're ready for our sandwich. Mmm, we eat it up. Mmm, nom, 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 nom. And we rub a hand on our tummies and pat our heads at the same time. Well done, everybody. All of a sudden, the ground starts to rumble and shake. Oh no, what could it be? We're going to get swallowed whole. Oh no, it's the dark. Ah! We're so scared, we give ourselves a hug again and we close our eyes and rub our ears. Fernando says, Amigo, open your eyes. Nothing to be afraid of. Take a look. And sure enough, out of the ground pops a little mole. Hmm. On your tummies, hands under your shoulders, he wiggles up out of the ground. Hello? Ah, sorry, am I in the wrong place? Oh, all right, I'll go back then. Bye. And he wiggles back into his little hole. So, yes, we didn't need to be afraid of the little mole. Ha! Huh. Amigo, it is time for you to go home. I hope you have enjoyed your time in the dark. Punch it in. Ooh, okay. We just punched it in with Fernando the Silver Fox. But before you go, you go with my friend, the Tooth Fairy. She needs the dark as well. Of course, the Tooth Fairy. And here she comes. Standing up, she flutters in. Ah! Fluttering her fairy wings, she lands gracefully oh, on one leg and twiddles around in a circle. Ah, oh, we're going to go home with the Tooth Fairy. We can't wait. Bye, Fernando. We take the Tooth Fairy's hand and we fly, lifting ourselves up, gliding through the air, trying not to wobble. Yay! Seeing if we can swap our legs now as well, lifting up the other leg. Wow, it's amazing flying with the Tooth Fairy. Of course, she needs the dark to make her work as well. So, the dark is never as bad as we think. We arrive back at our house and we land on our windowsill. Oh, oh. 
She opens the window and we creep inside. She blows us a kiss. And inside, our room is still. We come to sit and notice the dark all around us. We can see our toys, all our things, and our big comfy bed, which is calling us. We get into our comfy bed and get ourselves long and relaxed, lying all the way back. Ah, <sighs> the dark's not that bad. We've realised so many things about it today with our wonderful story with Fernando, the silver fox of the night. He's the coolest fox in the world. And the night is pretty special. If it wasn't for the dark, there would be no tooth fairy. There would be no Santa Claus. <gasps> now we realize how special the dark is. How magical it is. How wonderful. Gives us time to rest. What a lovely story. We start to wake up again, wiggling our fingers and our toes, letting our wrists come around and our ankles come around in a circle. We bring our knees up to our chest and have a little hug with them. We roll over onto our side and start to sit up. Ah, coming back to our cross leg position, just as we started, with our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started, with our secret yoga code word. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was amazing. I hope you're never afraid of the dark again, because it's not as scary as we think. Well done. I'll see you all next time for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. Now, shall we find out who our story's about today? Let's look through the cosminoculars. We bring our thumbs and fingers together and we have a look through. <gasps> wow! Look at those colours and those shapes. It's so pretty. Can you see the picture? What is it? It's a <gasps> unicorn! It's Twilight, the unicorn of dreams! Look, she's doing yoga. She's doing a half handstand. Oh, this is wonderful. A brilliant bedtime story. Let's get ready for the night. We stand up. We reach our arms up to the moon and we say to the moon, Hello moon! We bring our hands together above our heads and we lean over one way, making a moon shape or a banana. Then we lean over to the other way and we make another moon shape like a banana. Then we step our legs out nice and wide and bend our knees. We cup our hands around our mouth and we blow our moon up into a full moon, like a hot air balloon. Ready? Mm. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. What an amazing big full moon you are. We stretch our legs, we stretch our arms and we make a star shape, twinkling our fingers to feel a bit of extra sparkle. We can feel the starshine at the ends of our fingers. That's the stuff that dreams are made from. We tilt like a teapot down to one side and we sprinkle some starshine on our toes. Then we come back to the middle and we tilt over to the other way and we sprinkle some starshine to our other toes. Yes, we come back to the middle and we swish and we sway, spreading starshine all around us. Yay! Then we pitter-patter, pitter-patter, pitter-patter it all over our faces and our heads like a rain. And it's lovely feeling starshine making us go all wibbly wobbly. We rub our ears and rub our jaws and Oh, we're coming down like we're drifting into a dream. Coming onto all fours, here come the woozy woozy sleep sheep, woozily waggling their woozy woozy tails. Oh. The woozy sleep sheep ba ba bounce over the fence. We tuck our toes and lift our bottoms. Ba ba bounce. Coming back down. Let's do that again. Ready? Ba, ba, bounce. Yay! And one more time. Coming back down. One, two, three. Ba, ba, bounce. Yay! Well done, everyone. We've come into a magical forest. This must be where Twilight, the unicorn of dreams, lives. We find ourselves at a crooked tree. Standing up, Turn to the side and bend your knees. Spread your big branches out wide and turn to the front. Yes, like a crooked tree. We climb up the tree. Ready? Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. When we get near the top, we put one foot on top of the other and we bring our hands together at our hearts. We grow our tree up nice and tall and Hmm, I wonder if you're feeling like a strong tree right now. Let me do the tree test. I'll try and blow you down. Ready? You stay strong. Let's see. Oh my goodness, you're still standing up. You are a strong tree. Let's climb a little bit higher. Ready? Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Oh, we're right at the top now. Let's try it on the other leg. Putting the other foot on top this time, bringing your hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up nice and tall and, hmm, can I blow you down this side? Let's try. You stay strong. Ready? Doopy doopy dee doopy doopy dee doo. Oh my word, you are a strong tree, goodness me. Oh. Now, we get to the top and we look through our cosminoculars again. Thumbs and fingers together, have a look through and oh, we see a huge owl. He lands right in front of us. Coming down to your knees, we go twit, twoo, twit, twoo, he says. Twilight is waiting for you, twit woo. Hop on my back and we'll go, twit woo. Lovely, so we do. We stand up, we lean forward and we hold on tight as the owl swoops his big, big wings out to the side and he sweeps through the night sky over the treetops where we come into land by a lake. Coming down onto your knees, we bring our hands together and we say namaste to thank the owl. Namaste. Crossing your thumbs, he twit, 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 twoos off into the night. Wow, here we are by the lake. We sit on our bottoms and we bring the soles of our feet together, making a big diamond shape with our legs. We look into the lake and it's such a beautiful clear night. When we look into the lake, it's like looking in a mirror. We look all the way down and we can see ourselves. We can see our faces. We can also see somebody else's face. 
It's Twilight, the unicorn of dreams. Yay! Come up onto one knee, everybody, and bring your hands above your head. And just like Twilight, the unicorn of dreams, with her big pointy horn. Greetings, dreamer. Welcome to the lake. Come and help me spread starshine and give everybody good dreams. OK, let's get clopping. We stand up and we swap our legs and we come down the other way. We lift our hands above our head and we... <coughs> clop off. Great. We come to a very little house. Spreading your knees nice and wide, bring your hands above your head, making a little tiny house. Out of the little tiny house comes a little tiny mouse. Coming onto your knees, squeak, 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 squeak. It's Matilda the mouse and she's holding a little jug. Standing up, take your feet out nice and wide. Bend your knees. Put your hand on your hip to make your handle. Put your other hand out to make a spout. Her little jug needs some starshine so that she can give her little baby mice some lovely dreams tonight. Twilight gets into position on one knee, lifting up her horn, and she points her horn into the little jug and she goes whoosh, filling the little jug with starshine. Matilda the mouse goes squeak, squeak, squeak. Thank you, Twilight. Thank you for my starshine. And Twilight and I, we clop, clop off together. Yay, it's great. Coming up now, we clop, clop, clop through the woods. And we come to a hole in the ground. Sitting on your bottoms, bring the soles of your feet together again and have a look down into your hole. Hmm. We wonder who lives down here. Who could it be? Oh, all of a sudden, out hops a hare. A hare is a very big rabbit with very long ears. Coming onto your knees again, take your arms behind your back and crisscross your fingers. Lift your arms up above your head and make your very long hair ears. Yes, this is Hilary Hare. And Hilary Hare is holding a carrot. She wants her carrot covered in starshine to give to all the little baby hairs before bed. Standing up, make a carrot shape. Yes, very good. Now, can you look like a happy carrot? Can you look like a sad carrot? <laughs> can you look like a scared carrot? <gasps> can you look like a cross carrot? Can you look like a disco carrot? Can you look like a kung fu carrot? Yes, well done everyone. Twilight gets into position, coming to one knee, bring your hands above your head and she whooshes her starshine onto the carrot. Whoosh! Hilary Hare hops back down into her hole. Hands down, tuck your toes and hoppity hoppity hop. Hoppity hoppity hop. Yay! She's got lots of lovely starshine to give to all the baby hairs for bedtime. We come back to the lake where there's a beautiful mermaid waiting for us. Swish your tail around to one side, sit up tall and look over your shoulder. She looks at us and she says, Bonne nuit, which means good night in French. She opens her arms and she gives Twilight a great big hug. Oh, mon chéri. Then she holds up her little pouch, which Twilight fills with the starshine. She takes the pouch and she puts it by her heart. The mermaid is going to take this under the water and make sure all the animals that live under the sea get lots of starshine so they all have nice dreams. She swishes her tail round the other side, looks over her shoulder again, back at us and says it again. Bonne nuit. Then she stands up, up on her fishy tail, whoop, and she dives into the water. Swoosh, using her fishy tail to swim. Off she goes, into the night water. 
Oh, all of this lovely starshine has made us want to have a lovely sweet dream tonight. So Twilight blows us a lovely kiss. <coughs> oh, we start to feel all tingly, like we're ready to have a lovely dream. We give Twilight a great big hug. <coughs> oh, it's been so much fun learning how wonderful dreams are made every night. We come to a magic carpet. Sitting on our bottoms, take your legs out nice and wide, arms out wide as well. We start to take off, <gasps> swirling around and around in a circle. And then time passes. We cross our legs, put our arms out to the side, and we go tick-tock like a clock until I find my centre. Did you find it? Let's try again. Ready? Tick tock like a clock until I find my centre. Yay! Well done! We're feeling lovely and sleepy now. So we sleepwalk to our beds, lying on your back Take one leg long and lift the other leg up. Then take your arms out wide to the side. We swap our legs over, sleepwalking. One, two, three. Ah, we get to our bed and we light a candle. Lifting up both legs now, flicker your toes. Looking at a candle flame, how lovely. Wow! We blow our candle out. <gasps> Bring our feet down to the floor, keeping our knees bent, and join the soles of our feet together, dropping our knees out to the side. Bring one hand and put it on your tummy. Bring your other hand and put it on your chest. Let your eyes close and your breathing becomes slow. Ah, oh, what an adventure. How lovely to learn how dreams are made with Twilight, the unicorn of dreams. She will always keep us safe at night. So we need never worry or be afraid. We just need to close our eyes and relax our minds. And if we sleep well, tomorrow we will wake up wiser and stronger, ready for our day. <sighs> what a peaceful feeling. I think we're going to sleep well tonight. Slowly bring your knees back together and stretch your body out long. Bring your knees into your chest and roll over onto your side. Coming up to sitting. With your legs crossed, your hands together at your heart. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word. Ready? One two, three. Namaste. Well done everyone. What a beautiful story. You did so well. I hope you have a lovely sleep this evening. Bye bye. <laughs>
Namaste. There, now we're ready to begin. Shall we find out who our story's about today? Yes? Let's look through the cosminoculars. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Wow! Look at that! Those amazing colours. Those things spinning around. Wow, it's beautiful. Can you see that? What is it? It's a... Turtle! It's Tommy, the bedtime turtle. What's Tommy doing? He looks like he's flying. No, wait a moment, he's not flying. He's doing yoga. He's doing flying pose. Tommy, the bedtime turtle, is great at making bedtime super fun. We've got to go to Hawaii to meet Tommy. Let's get going. We pack a suitcase, putting our legs out in front of us. Now we might be doing some swimming, so we'll take our arms out wide, we'll twist around and we'll get our swimming costume. There we go. Folding it up, we put it in. Ooh. Now, I think we might need some sun cream. Take your arms out wide, twist around, get your sun cream. There we go. Check the lids on and put it in. Ooh, there, that should see us through. We cross our legs, open our arms wide, and we give everyone at home a great big hug. Oh, we can hear something. It's the sound of the Hawaiian birds tweeting to us. They're calling us to Hawaii. Aloha, aloha, aloha. We'd better get going. We've got a long flight, so we're going to get our bodies ready. We roll our shoulders round and round. We lift them up and put them down. We reach up tall and touch the ground. Put a hand to the side, lift our arm over the top and play a piano on our ribs. Ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a noo. We put our hand down on the other side, reach up tall and over, and we play a piano on our other ribs as well. Ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a noo. Well done, everyone. We then give our ears a little rub so we don't get worried on the flight, and we hold our nose and blow, making our ears go all crackly. Oh, lovely! Time to fly. Come on to your knees. We take our arms out wide. We put a hand down beside us and wave at the sky. We put one foot in front of our knee and zoom our leg out behind us and we go knee all the way around one way. Then come back to two knees again. Put your hand down the other side. Lift your arm to the sky and give it a wave. Yay! Bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out and go Neow! The other way! Yay! We arrive in Hawaii. We stand up and we bow. We say aloha. Ready? Aloha. And we're given a beautiful necklace of fresh flowers called a lei. How lovely! We look in front of us and there's a chicken. A boy chicken. A cockerel. Coming down onto your toes, he says, Aloha, welcome to Hawaii. My name is Moa. Come, I'll take you to see Tommy the bedtime turtle. Follow me. He takes us to the beach where there are beautiful palm trees swaying in the wind. Putting one foot on top of the other, put your hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up tall and open up your branches. Now, because we're palm trees, we're going to flop our hands over as well. And listen, the palm trees are singing. Maluhiha, 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 Maluhiha. Oh, they're very beautiful. Let's try it on the other leg. Putting your other leg on top this time, bring your hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up tall and open up your palm tree branches. Maluhiha, Maluhiha, 
Maluhiha, Maluhiha. Oh, they're very pretty. But what's this coming down the beach? It's a whole cooler of crabs. <gasps> cooler means school. Look, they're scuttling down the beach. Sitting on your bottoms, bend your knees, feet flat, and put your hands behind your bottom. Lift yourself up, and we're going to digger, digger, digger. That way, ready? Digger, digger, digger. Hula, hula, hula. Let's go that way. Digger, digger, digger. Hula, hula, hula. And again. Digger, digger, digger. Hula, hula, hula. Last time. Digger, digger, digger. Hula, hula, hula. Oh, we love hula, hula dancing with the crabs, but we've got to find Tommy, the bedtime turtle. Time to get in the water. And look. There's lots of dolphins waiting for us. Let's swim with dolphins. Coming up onto your knees and drop down onto your elbows, onto your forearms. Now we're going to dive forward and back, in and out of the waves with the dolphins, making happy clicky noises. <coughs> they lead us to a rock. Sitting all the way back, tuck yourself down into a little rock shape. Or is it a rock? Hmm, no it's not. It's a shell. A turtle shell. Yay! It's Tommy the bedtime turtle. Sitting on your bottom, take your legs out wide and bend your knees a little bit. Now put your hands inside and take your hands underneath your legs to come to your feet like a little turtle opening up your chest Tommy opens up his eyes and says Aloha welcome to Hawaii let's go help some friends make bedtime beautiful okay and we swim down with Tommy into the ocean lying on your tummies let's swim using our arms and using our legs. Yes. We swim down to a coral bed. Rolling over, sitting up, bend your knees, hands behind your bottom, lift yourself up to make a bed shape. Yay! Next to the coral bed are a whole family of oysters. Sitting on your bottoms, bring your feet together. Oysters are shellfish, but every night before they go to bed, they like to have a kiss and a cuddle before they close their shells. So we give them a kiss, and a cuddle, ah, and then they sleepily, snoozily close their shells down. Ah, <sighs> that's made bedtime beautiful for the oysters. Tommy tells us to swim on, so we go. On our tummies again, swimming further. This time, we swim to a whole group of sharks. Ooh. Bring your hands behind your back, crisscross your fingers, and lift up your shark's fin. Now loll over to the sides. Lolling, 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 lolling. Now every night before the sharks go to bed, they like to have some lovely, sleepy, dreamy music to listen to like a lullaby and so we help with Tommy. Sitting up, Tommy plays his ukulele. A ukulele is a very very little guitar. We take our ukulele and we play it using our fingers here to hold the strings and strum with our other hand. We sing a beautiful lullaby. Aloha po, aloha po, aloha po. Aloha po, aloha po, aloha po, aloha po. Shh, let's try the other leg. Take the other leg. Hold on to it, ready? Aloha po, aloha po, aloha po, aloha po, aloha po, aloha po, aloha po. lie down on our tummies and swim away. We come to a whale, Wendy the whale, rolling over, lying on your back, 
Bend your knees and put your arms down by your side. Wendy the whale goes, bubble, 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 pop. There, yeah. and again, let's try. Bubble, 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 pop. Yes, well done, everyone. Wendy the whale has a little boy called Wilf, who's a little baby whale. Now, poor Wilf is finding it very hard to stay in his bed at night. He keeps waking up and then going and waking up his mummy. So neither of them are getting very much sleep. So Tommy the bedtime turtle has been giving Wilf a sticker for his chart every time he manages to stay in bed the whole night. And guess what? Wilf did it last night. Yay! So we give him a big round of applause. Yay! Well done, Wilf! You did so well! Now, back on the beach, there are a whole group of monk seals lying on your tummy, lolling around. Oh. Oh. Every night, the monk seals do a special sundown dance to say thank you for the day. Standing up, they say the word thank you in Hawaiian, which is mahalo to the sun. Ready? Mahalo, sun. Then they say thank you to the earth, ready? Mahalo, earth. They take their leg back behind them and come up with their hands, like twilight, the unicorn of dreams. They swap their legs over so they get some extra starshine for lovely dreams. Then they wiggle into their cave, coming onto your tummies, hands underneath your shoulders, and wiggle, 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 where they curl up and go to sleep. We sit up, and it begins to rain. And because the sun is setting, it makes a beautiful rainbow. Come up to two knees, take your hand down to the side, stretch your leg long and lift your arm up and over, making a rainbow. Let's do it on the other side as well. Bring your knees back together, arms out wide. Take your arm down to the other side, stretch your leg long and lift up your arm, making a rainbow the other way too. The moon is high in the sky. We stand up tall, lift our arms up, lean over to one way, making a banana shape. We lean over to the other way, making another banana shape like the moon. Yay! And we asked Tommy, how can we make our bedtime beautiful? He tells us to sit down. He has some advice. We sit ourselves down and cross our legs. Every night before bed, have a little glass of water or some milk. Mmm. We rub a hand on our tummies and pat our heads at the same time. Lovely. Every night, maybe read a book. Ooh, we like a book. Bring your knees up, open your book and have a read. Maybe with your mummy and daddy. Once upon a time in a land far, far away. We like stories. Light a candle or put on your nightlight. Lying back, we lift our legs up to the sky and we light our candle and look at the flame as we flicker our feet. When you're ready for bed, let your legs be long and bring a hand to your tummy and a hand to your heart. Ah, close your eyes, relax your mind and breathe in and out slowly, like ocean waves. This is how we make bedtime beautiful. And we need never worry if we wake up in the night. All we need to do is close our eyes relax our minds and breathe in and out slowly 
like the ocean waves. How beautiful to know all these new ways of making bedtime wonderful. I'm sure you have your own special ways too. Let's think about them now. Maybe having a snuggle, a cuddle with our mummies and daddies. Having a story. Our favorite teddy bear. What makes bedtime beautiful for you? Hmm. Slowly we start to twinkle our fingers and our toes. And we stretch our arms up above our heads. <sighs> we bring our knees in and roll over to the side and come up to sitting with our legs crossed, just the way we started. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. What a beautiful bedtime story that was. I hope you have lots of lovely ways of making bedtime beautiful. Come back again for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye.